in the early 1950s, the Soviet Union realized that relying solely on propellers could not give helicopters the performance of long range and high speed. Therefore, they came up with the idea of a combination power system. After a series of experiments, the Soviet Union began to design and build the compound-structured Ka-22 in the mid to late 1950s. The reason why it is called compound structured is because the Ka-22 combines the characteristics of both a rotorcraft and a fixed-wing aircraft. Of course, some articles directly refer to it as either a rotorcraft, helicopter, or fixed-wing aircraft. So let's take a closer look at the design of this aircraft. The Ka-22 was designed to meet the Soviet Union's aviation transportation needs. The main body of the aircraft is a rectangular structure, which provides a larger internal space for cargo transportation. This area can accommodate 80 seats or 16.5 tons of cargo. The huge size allows for the direct transport of heavy equipment such as artillery and trucks. The front of the aircraft can be opened to expose the cargo hold. The cockpit protrudes above the nose of the aircraft and accommodates a crew of three, providing a good field of view. The rear part of the aircraft is similar to the conventional fixed-wing transport aircraft structure, with a fixed tricycle landing gear and main landing gear located on both sides of the fuselage, connected to the underside of the wing. The most distinctive feature of the Ka-22 is its power system. It is equipped with fixed, short wings above the fuselage, with the wingtips serving as power compartments. Initially, the plan was to use two TV-2VK engines, which were later replaced by D25VK turboshaft generators, each with an output of 5,500 horsepower. Each engine drives a pair of 65.6 foot, about 20 meters, diameter horizontal rotors, as well as a set of variable pitch four-blade propellers that generate forward thrust. These two sets of propellers do not operate simultaneously. During takeoff, landing, and slow flight, the aircraft relies on the horizontal rotors. Once the aircraft reaches a certain altitude, it transitions to the flight attitude of a fixed-wing aircraft. At this point, the pusher propellers begin to operate, generating forward thrust, and the fixed wing of the aircraft also generates lift during flight. At this stage, the horizontal rotors disengage from the engines and begin to rotate freely, generating lift like a rotorcraft. Some articles claim that the aircraft's engine exhaust nozzles will deflect downward to generate additional lift in helicopter mode, but there is no corresponding evidence in the form of photos or other proof. However, the flaps behind the wings can be lowered to 90 degree to increase lift. When the aircraft enters high-speed flight mode, the control of the aircraft is similar to that of a conventional fixed-wing aircraft, and the pilot needs to control the rudder, ailerons, and other structures to adjust the flight attitude. Because of these features, we have reason to believe that in theory, the Ka-22 can also achieve a rolling landing, just like a fixed-wing aircraft. Despite the apparent simplicity of the mode transition in the introduction, this is actually a very complex technology. Aside from issues such as component reliability, designers also had to solve problems related to rotor torque. In fact, from the emergence of this compound structure to the present day, various countries have designed a number of similar products, such as the British Rotodyne compound aircraft, as well as some high-speed helicopters currently under development. Despite the development of this structure for so many years, it has not become mainstream, partly because the performance of conventional aircraft has continued to improve, and perhaps also due to the many drawbacks of this compound structure. A total of four Ka-22 aircraft were produced from the late 1950s to the early 1960s, and during testing, they achieved satisfactory performance, including a maximum speed of 233 miles per hour, about 375 kilometers, and a maximum altitude of 18,050 feet, about 5,500 meters. However, the first prototype crashed due to a malfunction in 1962, and the third prototype also crashed in 1964, ending the fate of the Ka-22. The Mi-6 helicopter took over the transportation task from the Ka-22. It was designed almost in the same era as the Ka-22, with a similar set of short wings, but without the propellers used for propulsion. It only generates lift during forward flight. 
The Ka-22 compound aircraft has an empty weight of 28,200 kilograms, a maximum takeoff weight of 42,500 kilograms, a length of 27 meters, a wingspan of 22.5 meters, a maximum flight speed of 374 kilometers per hour, a maximum range of 450 kilometers, and a maximum altitude of 5,500 meters.